Hey guys, this is Dave, and today we're going to go over FAQ schema markup using the Rank Math plugin. All right, so starting out here, uh, we're looking at a post. Uh, you could do this on a page as well that you're going to add FAQ markup. The first thing we want to make sure is that we actually have uh, applicable questions on the page or post. So here we can see the first H2, our image is important for SEO. So we've got a question and answer right out the gate. Um, and you know, for this particular post, I'm okay with using that. Let's see if we have any other questions down here. Nope. So that's gonna be our one and only question for this post. We're gonna flip over to the edit screen. Now, regardless of what theme you're working in, uh, the Rank Math Pro or rank math plugin uh, will, you know, you'll do this in the back side of the page uh, over here in the rank math section. If you're not seeing it, click on this little box that has your rank math score. You're gonna look for this icon with the star in the middle of what looks like a web page. That's our schema section. And, you know, by default, you should probably have article markup if this is a blog post. Um, or if it's a web page, you should have web page markup. And to add additional markup, we're going to click on the schema generator, and that's going to pull up additional options for more schema that you can add uh, within Rank Math. And we're going to scroll down, click on FAQ, and it's going to bring up this section. Now you'll notice here that it says, please consider using FAQ block instead. What that's referring to is if you're using the Gutenberg editor, the default WordPress editor, when you're creating a page or a post, um, you can actually add a block uh, that's an FAQ with a question and answer, and it will uh, put it onto the page that way. But since we're using the Divi theme, that's not applicable for this particular post. Um, so we're gonna have to use the schema generator with the Rank Math uh, plugin to do our question and answer. All right, so we're gonna look down here where it says questions. You'll see there's nothing there. So I'm gonna hit add property group. That's gonna bring up a question, URL, image, and an answer. So I'm gonna go back to our page. I'm gonna grab our question, drop it in here. URL is just the URL of the page or the post. And let's grab our answer. And then image, we can see if there's an applicable image on this post that we could use. Speed, that doesn't seem applicable. Servers, not applicable. Vector graphics, not applicable. So in this instance, uh, I would probably not use an image from this post uh, on that section. If you did have an applicable infographic or something like that, that would probably be a plus. Uh, as Google might use that for a rich result um, if it's something that they feel is going to enhance the user experience on their side and, and provide context to the answer. Otherwise, uh, we're good with just the text answer. Going to hit save for this post and then we're going to update. Anytime we add FAQ markup, the other thing we want to do is also submit that particular page or post for re-indexing. So I'm going to grab our link here. And we're gonna go into Search Console. So here at the top, I'm just gonna see where it says inspect any URL. We're just gonna drop that page in there, hit enter. Now this page has already been living on our website for a while, so it's gonna show up that it is on Google. If it's a brand new page that you're publishing, it will most likely say page is not on Google yet. Um, and either way, you'll still have this option here where it says request indexing. So since we just added that FAQ markup, I'm going to request indexing and it just takes a minute to roll through that. The other thing to remember with indexing is that you can only in request indexing for so many pages per day before uh, Google will say wait until the next day to uh, do that. So usually uh, in our experience, it's up to about a dozen pages or so, uh, maybe 10 before you get cut off. I'm not sure what the exact number is or if it changes, um, but this is just a good best practice. And then the other thing you want to do is you want to track where if the page was uh, re-indexed. So for this particular post, 
I'm going to go into our tracking sheet and I'm going to find this blog post. Here it is. And then I'm going to put today's date for re-indexing. Also, we're tracking uh, our schema usage here. So we are going to do article and FA. All right, now our tracking spreadsheet's updated. So we know that this information is on that post. This helps, especially using a large site uh, and you can kind of just track everything a lot better instead of guessing or having to manually go through and inspect your pages and see does everything have FAQ markup that it should. Um, and then let's flip back over to Search Console. Indexing has been requested, so we're good to go there. And we can move on to other pages and posts that we want to add FAQ markup to.